Hello everyone. So today I'm going to implement some dynamic camera effects when we are in the bullet camera. So as let me show you. See now let me pause it here. So when I am inside the bullet camera, you can see uh, I have applied some vignetting effect that you can see some dark effect around the edges and also you can see the background is blurred the sky is blurred that's because i have applied a depth of field effect and also around the edges you can see some color offset which is a result of applied chromatic aberration uh, post process effect so those are the things i'm gonna work on today so once we exit the um, post once we exist exit from the bullet camera you can see those effects are not there anymore they are dynamically added and removed as we enter the bullet camera and exit. okay so let's see how to implement that today okay so at the moment if i take uh, if i take headshot in the sniper we can see actually we don't see any difference or any extra camera effects right so what i'm planning to do is add some post process effects like depth of field and some vignette effect for the bullet cam so we would see some difference and we would see more we would get more focus for the bullet all right so for that oh, let's try it using the local post process volumes we have to determine what are the values we need so Let me pause the game here. This and then I'll select the post process volume that I have already placed in the level. And here I'm gonna enable Vignet. Let's try intensity like that's too much. One. Vignet intensity one would be enough and depth of field focal distance let's say 500 5000 and at this distance I don't think this values works let's try 500 let's resume right this is the stage I want to refine I want to focus on the character so here actually 500 what if I make it like 330? No. 50 works. 200 works. Okay, let's use 200 for the focal distance and depth uh, 1. What happens if I reduce this? Okay, I leave it as the one. Okay, so let me take a screenshot of these values so I can re use it and stop the game and open the player character. Okay, now when I enable the bullet camera 
actually toggle bullet camera is implemented inside this uh, gun inside the sniper this one let me open this blueprint here okay so inside here is there a way to dynamically change post process values right now here we have enable and disable bullet camera so when we enable the bullet camera we have to apply the effects basically the depth of field effect and the vignette effect so here let me get some space by collapsing a node camera effects right now here we can get player controller and get camera component here we can set post process uh, settings okay now before setting them i'll get post process settings here mm. let's promote this to a variable pp bullet and sorry let's call it pp normal and we need another one pp bullet cam because we need to revert whatever the effects that we apply as well so therefore first i'm gonna set this pp normal and with whatever the value we have with the pp normal i'm gonna set pp bullet cam as well then i'm gonna modify the values we have in the pp bullet cam so set members in post process settings here i'm gonna let's first test with uh, with net settings that should be under image effects where is it Fill lens color here lens image effects with net intensity let's set this to one and then as the new post process settings i'm gonna set this one the uh, the structure with the modified vignette intensity value let's see if this works hmm. i don't see any change oh wait we have no error access none trying to read property get component camera Okay, why is that? Ah, sorry. I have used get camera component on the get player controller. I should have used get player character. Actually, um, this be get camera component. I implemented that interface event interface function previously when we worked on the bullet camera. So if you don't remember, right now it should work. Let's see. See, we can see the vignette effect, and it will not go away after this. Yeah, as I said, it's still there. The vignette effect means this uh, darkened corners. In the edge, we have some darkness. Right. 
so to reset it what we have to do is again applying this pp normal into the camera so we have to do that when we disable the bullet camera that means here again we have to get the character okay let me collapse this part so we can keep the code clean disable let cam effects enable camera effects okay i'll call it then disable camera effects right now here same as before get camera component then set mm, post process settings sorry set post process settings wait this one right now we can should be put here pp normal but do i have to check is valid oh no this is this is a structure so no matter what we will always have a value here regardless of we initialize this variable or not right now that vignette effect should be disabled when i exit the bullet camera Okay, Vignette is there and it's disabled. Great. Now let's add the depth of field as well. So, here. Yeah. Where is depth of field? Oh. All of them are expanded. Right. Lens depth of field. Focal distance, depth blur, depth blur radius. And the values I tested is 200, 1, 5. Okay, so you can see the sky is blurred. That's because we have enabled depth of field. All right, and that's all I wanted to implement today. Okay, and to get some extra effect, we can try this chromatic aberration effect as well. Yeah, let's try this one. Let's start with the point five. So here, what we get is uh, around these edges, we get some um, color offset. I I don't know how to explain it see we have some colors here mm -hmm. this value let's set to 5 right now I'm not gonna apply it here I'm gonna apply it dynamically in the bullet cam it's that also should be under the lens lens chromatic aberration Start offset 0.5. All 
right? Let's test it. Okay, so you can see the effect around the edge. Alright, so with that, I'm gonna stop this episode. And as always, project files will be available for the download in Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.